After months of silence, the city of Chico today laid out a plan to move the homeless from city parks. And so that means that campers at places like Comanche Creek and Lower Bidwell Park can soon head to new pallet shelters going up near the fairgrounds. Well, Action News Now reporter Danny Maston is live where others are still camping near City Hall. So Danny, does this mean the city can now enforce its rules prohibiting overnight camping? Yes, Alan, soon those who are staying in places like here in front of City Hall will no longer be able to stay in the area because the city is going to be able to go back to doing its enforcements in city parks and in waterways. This woman has been homeless since she was 16 years old. She did not want to be identified, but she tells me she will be heading to Chico's pallet shelters as soon as it opens because it will give her stability. I really can't be out here much longer by myself. It hurts bad. It gives me anxiety. She tells me not only is it tough for her to be living out on the streets, but it is also hard on her furry son, Chaos. A place where you can calm down and stop barking at everybody who goes by because it's just... It's, he's on defense right now and it's, it's stressing him out. The city is hoping to have the pallet shelter site up and running within the next three to five weeks and that's when it can resume its enforcements and clear out camps like right here outside of City Hall. All of us, and, and I can almost say this entirely, I, I haven't met anybody who believes that our parks and waterways should be damaged. The site will have 177 pallet shelters, which can house more than 300 people. And right now, the tourist shelter has 145 beds and plans to add 50 more. The agreement states there has to be enough beds open at each of these shelter sites in order for the city to start enforcing park rules, specifically no overnight camping. If you're going to clear out somewhere like Comanche Creek, mm -hmm. do you think that's going to be enough shelter options so, to clear out that vast of an area. Yes, absolutely. Coolidge tells me he doesn't think the pallet shelter site will typically be at capacity. I think a lot of folks won't want to go there. The city received $1.7 million in American Rescue Plan funds from the county that will go toward the pallet shelter site. It will also pay for showers and laundry services weekly, hot meals daily, and service from the Butte County Behavioral Health and the Department of Employment and Social Services. Mayor Andrew Coolidge tells me Chico PD does plan to meet sometime later this week to discuss how it plans to do the enforcements. Live in Chico, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thank you, Danny. Now, Mayor Coolidge tells Action News Now anyone who is homeless will be eligible for a pallet shelter. That means locking door, bed to sleep on, storage space, and heating and air conditioning.